Hey guys, how is everyone today? How is your NCLEX review going? Now, plenty of people that have failed their NCLEX exam mentioned to me about stumbling upon a disease that they thought they knew about, yet they actually do not have enough knowledge and information about it to really nail the correct answer. Now, I think sometimes when you take your NCLEX exam, you'll encounter some diseases that you thought you knew and have already learned, but not really like fully covered to the extent that you will, you know, you eventually positively know the answer and it seems that sometimes we tend to take some information for granted therefore we lack the info to have like a really good informed educated guess right so today we'll be talking about one of those diseases that you might and will encounter in your NCLEX exam and that is glaucoma okay so now let's talk briefly about glaucoma glaucoma is a disease that damages your eyes optic nerve usually happens when there's a fluid buildup and that extra fluid increases the pressure in your eye eventually damaging the optic nerve now in a healthy eye excess fluid leaves the eye through the drainage angle which uh, keeps the pressure stable all throughout okay now there are two types of glaucoma there's the primary open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma and it's also called uh, a closed angle glaucoma okay now let's go over primary open angle glaucoma now primary open angle glaucoma is the most common type of glaucoma it, it happens gradually where the eye does not drain fluid as well as it, as it should and as a result eye pressure builds and starts to damage the optic nerve but this type of glaucoma is painless and causes uh, no vision changes at first, okay? On the other hand, angle closure glaucoma, or what we call closed angle glaucoma, happens when someone's iris is very close to the drainage angle uh, in the eye, and the iris can almost end up blocking the drainage angle, okay? Now, you can think of it like a piece of paper over a sink drain, right? When the drainage angle gets completely blocked, eye pressure rises very quickly and this is called an acute attack okay now this information is very very important because it's a true emergency and you should call the ophthalmologist right away or the person can go blind okay so those information is very very important to know about now let's go ahead and look at our NCLEX review question okay so the question is which statement about glaucoma is true and accurate okay number one acute angle closure glaucoma is an ocular emergency number two acute angle closure glaucoma leads to the loss of peripheral vision and tunnel vision number three primary open angle glaucoma leads to eye pain nausea and vomiting blur vision and halos and number four bubbles are implanted to protect the retina from from glaucoma okay so now, if you were listening carefully to my quick uh, previous lecture about glaucoma, you will realize that the correct statement is number one, right? Acute angle glo closure glaucoma is an ocular emergency, and it is usually characterized with, uh, with eye pain, nausea and vomiting, and blur vision, and halos, which would make number three a false statement, right? And if you look at number two, it is also, uh, is also a false statement since the signs and symptoms of primary open angle glaucoma um, and not acute angle glaucoma are the loss of peripheral vision and tunnel vision okay now number four is false because bubbles are placed to treat uh, retinal detachment right and not from glaucoma itself okay now I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet guys again thank you thank you so much for stopping by I wish you the best in your NCLEX review I know you guys will do great please don't forget to visit my my website to get you know plenty more notes at www.allnursingnotes.com. Again, have a blessed day, guys. Thank you so much, and God bless. Thank you.